Welcome to question number 30 from the June 2016 Algebra Regents exam. So in this question, we've got a snowstorm in Red Hook, and someone's noticing that there's 4 inches of snow on the ground at 3 p.m., and that there were 6 inches of snow at 7 p.m. And if she were to graph the data, what does the slope of the line connecting the two points represent in the context of this problem? I think a good starting point in this situation would be to draw a rough graph of it. That might help us visualize what's going on here. So we know at 3 p.m. Uh, there's 4 inches of snow. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are your inches of snow. And then let's go 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., so here's 7 p.m. So at 7 p.m. there is 6 inches of snow, so 5, 6, so that'll be somewhere around here. So here's what a graph would look like. Now, um, to find the slope, remember that the slope is rise over run, or you might also see the change in y over the change in x. All right, so the change in y, uh, that's the amount of snow. It's increasing from 4 to 6, so that's an increase of 2. Okay, so the increase in y is 2. And then the increase in our x value, it's going from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., which is 4 hours. And you know what, I think for this to make more sense, Let's actually include our units here. So this is 2 inches in 4 hours. Now in the context of this situation, that means in 4 hours it uh, snowed 2 inches. Now um, in a question like this, they typically prefer that you put it into a unit rate, meaning instead of uh, writing it as 2 inches per 4 hours, and that's how fast it's snowing, uh, what would be better is to write the amount of inches that it's snowing per one hour. And to do that, we're going to divide both of these numbers by 4. Because if we do 4 divided by 4, we would get one hour. And then 2 divided by 4 is 1 half, or 0 0.5 inches. So this is the unit rate of how much it's been snowing. So that's the slope, what the slope represents in this situation. It's saying that every hour it's snowing 0 0.5 inches or half an inch. All right, thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.